This next spreadsheet project is going to be a is going to be a continuation of your retirement investing spreadsheet project. So you can actually use the same spreadsheet you had before and just add on to it. So what you're looking at here and you have access to this as a PDF on the lesson plans is highlighted in yellow things that have been added to your investment spreadsheet. And I'm going to zoom in here for a second and show you something. Uh, the focus, I'm going to guess, is not too awesome, but when you first did your in, in retirement investing spreadsheet, the total you got for account total upon retirement and the salary you were going to be able to pay yourself to live on during your retirement years seemed absolutely outrageously high. And so what we're going to do is discover why that seems outrageously high, which is your enemy, inflation. And essentially, what seemed like in this case, if you can even read that, about $6.6 .6 million in your retirement account and a salary of about $425,000 a year based on these assumptions. That seems outrageous. Well, if you adjust it for inflation, it's only, I guess I have to say that sarcastically, only $1.5 million and only a retirement salary of... $100,000 per year. Certainly not a bad thing to be retiring on, but not at all what the spreadsheet first showed us. So what you basically have to do is account for the fact that over time prices are going to change and what seems like a ton of money is not a ton of money. So you're going to get that done by putting in this column called inflation adjusted account value. So you can't see it too well right now, but for example, when you're 50 years old in the year 2049, in this person's example, $1.2 million is really inflation adjusted, about $488,000, meaning it would have the spending power of half a million, even though you have over a million, if you think about how things spend today. Um, so anyway, that should make it um, pretty clear what you need to do to the spreadsheet. You'll notice I have a new column over here, mysteriously numbering the years from one to 46 during your working career. Um, those are gonna help you act some way, shape or form as exponents as you do this spreadsheet. Um, if you wanna be really fancy, you should be able to get your programming done without doing that and just using clever Excel programming with the years over here. So I'm talking about these exponents. So where or why are exponents going to be involved? I'm going to now take a brief time to show you the math that you should do if you want to do these calculations correctly. Hold on. Okay, we're going to take a super brief lesson on inflation math. In this case, I'm going to assume a 3% inflation, but you'll see that you can change this calculation to do any inflation percent you want. And before we do this, uh, do you know any old people, perhaps your grandparents, perhaps your parents, who get grumpy when things cost so much? Well, don't worry, you're going to do the same thing someday because what they have is a lifetime of experience with prices and inflation is playing with their brain. This example is going to show you this. So we're going to take a Donato's pizza. Today, a Donato's pizza, I think the price I'm going to use is $14. A little bit outrageous for a pizza, but I guess you pay for quality, huh? And we're going to take that $14 and say, what would your grandpa or grandma have paid for that pizza 40 years ago? Now you'll see why they're grumpy when they see a $14 pizza. And then what will you pay for that pizza 40 years from now when you might be taking your grandson or granddaughter for a bite of pizza at Donato's? Well, here's that $14 pizza, and believe it or not, your grandparents would have paid about $4 for that pizza. So when they go to the pizza place and they say, $14 for your pizza, sir, that's why they're grumpy. Because they say, hey, when I was a kid, I paid this. Well, don't worry, you're going to be grumpy too, because in our assumed inflation rate of 3%, which is pretty reasonable, you and your grandson or granddaughter are going to be paying $45 for that same pizza. 
and now you're going to be grumpy and your grandson or granddaughter is going to look at you like you're crazy. So how did we do this? You see it right there. If I'm going to take my $14 and go back in time, I'm going to do division. 1 plus the inflation rate raised to the 40th power, divide that into 14, and that's what a, that's what a pizza would have cost back then. If I'm going to go into the future, I now need to multiply by the same factor, and that's how we know that's going to be a $45 pizza. So that's the basic math behind it. I'm going to let let it be up to you to figure out how it'll be applied to this situation. And a uh, little trial and error never hurts in Excel. Please enjoy the Excel spreadsheet. I know you will.